Hello, thanks for joining me for another beer review then. Um, since my last review, I've had a little bit more of a break, um, and this is my first review for a while. I've had a few beers today, mind you. So, yeah. Anyway, today we've got a beer from Collective Arts. This is actually a re review, and this is their Stranger Than Fiction Porter. Coming up 5.5% ABV. These guys are out of Hamilton, Ontario, over in Canada. And yeah, I reviewed this in a can, just checking now actually, in July of 2018. Um, in a, a decent sized can, I can't remember the exact size, I think it's like a 474, whatever it is. Um, something like that. Um, and yeah, this is part of a Discovery Club box. I think it's Discovery Club box, I'm not too sure. Um, low cost beer out of uh, Cambridgeshire, I believe. Um, yes, at Neots in Cambridgeshire. And it was from my good friend Raggy uh, last month because um, I had a bit of a break off the beer. Um, so, long story short, it was a birthday present. So, there we go. Thank you very much, sir. I really do appreciate it. So check him out. Um, if I remember, I will put his link to his channel down below. Um, but I'll probably forget. You know what it's like. So, Discovery Box. I think it was 20 quid uh, for eight of these little bowls. So it's this draft beer that's out of date. Not out of date, I don't think. It's just they need to get shot of it. Um, well, it's been, it's been sitting around here in this cold room for a while. The stouts, I've got four stouts, four pails... The pails are down in the fridge, the stout's here in this room. Anyways, so it's like a kind of a little panda pop type bottle. So let's crack it open then, hopefully it doesn't go everywhere. Uh, it was a pretty solid bottle, so um, not too bad. It's not going to go everywhere, which is a good thing. Pretty solid bottle, as, as uh, Raggy would say. So thanks a lot. I, I really do appreciate it. It's very humbling when someone... And he, he has actually started to produce a bit of a head, so that's good. So, yeah. This, so, this is a draft beer in, in a kind of a little plastic bottle. 330ml. Not much of a head, about a, a one thing just over. But it's, it's, it's carbonated, so that's cool. It's always good to see. So, there we are. Beer in a glass, eh? it's jet black, being a porter, um, it's, it's a bit darker than, than maybe you would expect for an English style porter. There's no ruby hues or nothing like that, it's a 5.5%, so um, a lot of breweries in the UK, well a few would, would class this as an imperial port, but it's not. It's just, um, it's actually classed as an American porter on tap, so hence why it's probably not got any ruby hues. So it's gone down to a I don't know, a three quarter finger head. Um, lightly tanned, nothing crazy. But yeah, it looks really good in the glass. Really tightly packed bubbles on that one. So let's give it a swirl and a sniff, see what it's like. It's very sweet. It's got like a um, slight kind of sweet confectionery toffee kind of aroma. Maybe a slight caramel note. It's difficult. There, there, there's a few other flavours there. I'm not too sure what it is at the moment. But we'll, hopefully we'll get more on taste. So, yeah, Collective Arts, I've, as I've had a fair few. I've actually got a playlist. I'll put that playlist down below. Um, but I've not had anything from these guys for a while. So, anyway, it smells, smells okay. Let's give it a try. Cheers, Raggy, mate. Appreciate it. Mm. So, I'm, so for instance, I'm reviewing this on the sixteenth of April. Just so you know, 2021. So I'm not sure when I'll be posting this. 
Um, it's got some interesting flavours there that I'm not even 100% sure whether they should be there or not. I have to be honest. There is a little bit of... Um, I think they're off notes. Yeah, lots of caramel, toffee, roasted malt, kind of a um, a slight kind of uh, brown sugar, burnt brown sugar edge. But I'm, I'm getting a very kind of buttery kind of note as well. I mean, it's got the carbonation, which is a good thing. That's one thing I was looking for. I was like, oh, is it? I mean, I know the, the bottle was hard. So I thought I knew the carbonation would be half decent, but whether there's any air got in there or whatever. Um, but there is a kind of a butteriness to it underlying all of that. It's not it's not prominent, but it's it's perfectly drinkable. Um, it, 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 it's really it, it, it's a nice beer but it, but it's just got this under under kind of tone to it slightly buttery butterscotch edge whether or not it, that, that, that's seeped in recently I would have thought so I've had these beers for a bit, you know getting on for a, well, three, three weeks I'd say um, or so um, and this is the first of the eight beers that I will be trying them all, giving them a review, um, and, and, and shouting out Raggy and everyone because he's a, he's an awesome guy. So do check him out. Um, but yeah, I, I just think that there, there, there's a. It's definitely carbonated. It's definitely got like a slight kind of un, undertone thing going on there, slightly buttery edge. I'm not entirely sure if it should be there. Not being a brewer, don't know. Um, but yeah, there, there, there's definitely a butterscotch edge. But perfectly drinkable. Um, you can't go wrong with the price, etc. So you know that, 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 that this is potentially going to crop up um, in, in, in beers being... Um, a, you know, low-cost beer for a reason, because... It's either it's out of date or it, it's um, with obviously at the time of recording this we've just come out of um, like full on lockdown um, and the pubs have been shut since the third of November until what are we now we're actually the sixteenth now as I said um, and they opened on the twelfth twelfth of uh, April. So it's, it's probably stock that's around that couldn't get to the pubs, so they, they, they bought it all up, put it in bottles and, and put it out there, which is great. Um, as a perfect representation of the beer in this form, probably not. Because um, I know you, I mean, I don't know so much now, you can get cans of this, which is when I reviewed it back a few years ago. But you can't go wrong. I mean, at the end of the day, if you just want a few beers, all right, they might not be the best, uh, you know, in their prime, but it's still going to be drinkable. It's not. I mean, it's not. It's un, this is only very slight though. This butterscotchy kind of thing, buttery edge. It's very slight, minuscule. You might not even recognise it, but it, for me, yeah, I'm, I'm picking it up. But that's just my honest little opinion of it. But overall, it's a great beer. Um, if you can find the cans of this, um, it's definitely worth picking up. As I've said, um, check out my other review, the playlist down below for the brewery. Um, but yeah, if you want some cheap beers, low cost beer, do it. Raggy bangs on about them all the time, you get stuff regularly. Um, and and their, their website is always changing every day. Um, they get new stock, it sells through, and then there's more stock. It's like that. If you see things, just buy it. If you want it, buy it. Get it done. Because um, if you oh, I'll wait till tomorrow, it'll be gone. It's kind of one of them deals. But um, but yeah, nice, nice, nice to actually try one of these little bottles. That I know Raggy's been reviewing a lot of them. 
Um, but this is my first time and yeah, it's alright, isn't it? It fills a glass, it gets you there, you're having a beer. Um, jobs are good, and, as, as my good friend would say. But um, but yeah, there is a little bit of a kind of a, an underscore kind of edge on there. But um, but yeah, would I buy any beers from, from Low Cost Beer? Yeah, I think I would. Um, I've, this is my first beer, of course, so we have to wait and see on the rest. But generally, I, I like the concept. I'd rather see someone drink it with a slight kind of edge to it that might not be to what it was. But I'd rather have that than throwing it down the drain, of course. So, uh, but yeah, there we go. That's my review of this uh, little uh, soda pop bottle of um, Collective Arts. This is their Stranger Than Fiction. Um, nice, nice. And I really do appreciate it, Braggy. Thank you so much, mate. Check him out. Thanks for watching then. Let me know what you think. Um, if you've had this in uh, can form before or draft or whatever or in one of these little bottles from low cost beer comments down below thanks for watching you'll keep safe and i'll see you on the next video cheers